Chill season is coming and I'm sure you know all about it already along with Big Run coming soon too, but there are actually a few cool details and secrets in the trailer that you might have missed about Salmon Run, and I'm happy about it as I've found something that I was speculating about before myself. As the Chill Season trailer transitions from the Splatoon logo, the popular flickering and blinking of the screen happens to announce Big Run. But I wonder if you actually noticed and paused the screen the moment of the blinking happens and saw a glimpse into a sunken scroll from the Book of Madai from Splatoon 2. This particular sunken scroll I already talked about a month ago when speculating what Big Run might be and it makes me really happy they are actually using the 17th scroll itself that says when smoke rises from the seven rings, the great pinkfish will emerge from the sea, devouring all the creatures of the land. Very ominous lines hinting towards Big Run from ancient inkling religion that we knew from before that salmonids have been a natural disaster level catastrophe that happened every time they would migrate around every 70 years or so. I hope personally it's not just the migration itself, as that would hint that Big Run might be just a Splatoon 3 exclusive event, but I guess Nintendo is also experimenting with this mode, and if it's a success, it might stay. Either way, the use of the scrolls is a nice touch, as it actually has lore implications going back to Splatoon 2, and might give us hope that there will be story segments attached to Big Run, or a potential DLC in the future to Splatoon 3 might further explain Salmonid lore and what this apocalypse really is with the red sky and all. It's also very interesting that they use this scroll specifically as it raises the question what are those seven rings exactly that it mentions? Could it mean that there will be seven big runs overall in the life of Splatoon 3 with a grand finale at the very end with a special boss? Or my other popular speculation is that it could mean seven different King Salmonids added into the game, but that's way less likely because that would be a lot of work for them. Let me know what you think about this part specifically, especially if you know more Salmonid lores, I find this really intriguing. Another really neat secret in the trailer is where the Salmonids are coming from during the gameplay on Wahoo World. If we pause or slow down the video, you can see that even during Rush Wave or Normal Wave, the gushers that are usually only active during Goldie Waves are in fact active here too. While during the trailer I didn't notice anything extraordinary that might be different during Big Run, we have normal weapons, normal waves, but this one is very different. Now of course the least interesting option is that on PvP maps the waves are just going to spawn from these gushers instead of the sea. So that would be pretty boring, right? But we've already seen that there can actually be water on these maps, in which case there's no point in the theory in the first place. Another option could be much more interesting, as in, what if during any wave, different nighttime waves could spawn and create further chaos during the waves by mixing them up? Or we could have brand new waves all together, which would be amazing. But it is big run, so I'm sure they will have something special for us as a surprise. But for now, we don't really have any clear answers about what those gushers are actually doing in the Who world, but it's still interesting. Those are the two hidden secrets I found during the trailer that I found super cool. Have any of you found anything else actually really exciting, I wonder? Let us know in the comments if you have, and share your ideas what Big Run might look like, but we're about to see it soon anyway. Thank you for watching everyone, if you're new around here consider subscribing to the channel, I have lots of Splatoon 3 and Salmon Run content from guides and news that can help you, and it also greatly helps the channel. Take care everyone, and I'll see you all the next time. Bye bye